gentleman here. Yes, I am from Homs. My name is Muhammad Al Hamwi. Thirty-two members of my family was dead, murder. Four of them beheaded between seven years old and eleven. They refused to leave. Who refused to leave from inside those suburbs? They were beheaded. Can you prove it? I prove it. I am the spokesperson for them inside in Syria. Yeah, but is there, do you have facts? Do you have pictures? Can I you have prove facts well, you have but, you have but, there are, but there are independent well, verifications no, no, no. of atrocities on both sides. The I mean, the UN, the UN Independent, Commi the UN independent Commission has said that there have been atrocities by both sides, but yes. the atrocities on the Assad side are on a greater scale, they're more severe, and they're more common. If they, if they have combat in civilian areas, what do you expect? They use them as human shields. So therefore, it's expected. But why, if they want to fight a government, why don't they go and fight them in a place where there's no civilians? If they care about the people of Syria and they care about civilians, why use them as human shield? Why force the people outside their houses and use their house? Is that how you fight? OK, Tama, it's a good point. Um, Um, Mohammed, let's get a sense of your personal story uh, as a Syrian Australian. When did you come to Australia? Uh, I came to Australia in 1996 from the Philippines. I am descendant to the Syrian regime since 1982. Uh, I am activist, so in that uh, what's going on in two years, 36 members of my family was murdered and the youngest was seven months, was killed by Hezbollah, uh, by, I mean, seven months beheaded by knife. spokesperson for the Syrian community in Australia. We have communication with the uh, Syrian National Council and Syrian National Coalition. So uh, with the activists inside Syria, Mainly now I'm devoted myself, you know, just to help the Syrian people in the cause of the democracy and freedom and human rights. Now the difficulty is, and this is where our guest Mimi was going to help us out here, there are many voices in the Syrian community. And, and so there's no one representative voice, is there, of this conflict in Australia? The opposition. You mean about the opposition, the voices of the opposition? Of the opposition, yes. but also many in Syrians express that they are uh, sympathetic with the Assad regime. Yes, the sympathetic with the Assad regime, they have only interest of that regime because their business factor, I mean, a sectarian factor or loyalty to the Iran and the Hezbollah, mostly what they call their black nuns becomes in Syria, in the ground, is very obvious, it's sectarian, no doubt about it. I mean, some uh, faction from Iraq also, they are there. So they are creating all the conflict inside. Those, they are supporting Syrian regime, but actually is, they are not Syrian. The majority of Syrian people, they are with the Syrian revolution. Let's connect back with your story. Um, who in your family is still in Syria? Just uh, under 14, 14, because most of my members of my family, you know, I don't know them because, you know, 31 years, I mean, it becomes like generation to generation. So if one is, what, when I left, was one year old, now it's already 32 years old, I don't know them. But they left now, is almost 17. I am from Homs. Is the they call it the capital city of the Syrian Revolution.